fine. I am not going to go another one. I have something grandma with me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're having fun. Let's take a walk. All right. Yeah, Facebook friendship. You know, that's actually the, what's really trending now, really, really. Oh, I was scared. So this girl, Oh my god, that's the lead uh, of the. I don't know who actually knows the guy on Facebook, but I want to have to go there and come over to Nigeria and move it off back to the east. You know, to come and meet a guy that's where I was the CEO of a black sheep group. Oh, which is very yeah. hard. Uh, I think they, they have uh, this uh, story of uh, um, saying it was actually a lie. There's nothing like the black sheep company, but all of those are just stories. I uh, was no, I don't think I have the concrete, you know. Actually, um, there is a friend of ours, a friend of ours in the meantime. Yeah, okay. You know, the girls actually write, they're waiting for their friends. And um, unfortunately, that they say the company from um, Gaia. To uh, Abuja, from Abuja to Port Harcourt, from Port Harcourt to Abad, that's how they, mm. they actually took their journey. Mm. And um, mm. they got there, and after a few hours, Saline, I'm sure Saline actually texted her friend, he said, It's like you've been kidnapped. Mm. This is actually screenshotted. He said, It's like you've been kidnapped, and that was the end. They didn't get any other information. But mm. what I read, mm. and uh, so his friend, Andrew's friend, was actually. Trying to give the entire story mm. that they actually went for hook up and all of that, mm. and um, but no way to be found. The girls were not found. No, 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 no. But I was wondering how people, girls, can leave to another country to another. Just feeling so right about it. Go to another country or a place they've never been before. Someone you've never met before, you don't know. 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 Person is on Facebook. Mm. So be careful when you have your friends on Facebook. You understand? Just a facade. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. falling into this yeah. yeah. trap. The seeds, you know, nothing is real. And I think yeah. that a friend was who told me she was coming all the way from um, Lagos to Oyo. So yeah. yeah, that's good. I was excited that she was actually going to be coming to see me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 She was coming to meet a friend she met on Instagram. I was like, huh? <laughs> As in, we just met him on Instagram. Yeah, he's cool. We've been chatting for two weeks now, and he's cool. How can we tell someone he's cool? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're just chatting with the yeah. person. I think there are no background check on this person. No, no, we just chat. I we told you so many things. I was like, what do you believe in? Travel, travel, travel. Really? You know, you know. So, I don't know what I'm talking about. I said on mm-hmm. Facebook is that unless the people are real, the pictures are not they are real. You know, for a beautiful background, so what should I upgrade themselves and make people say, oh, wow, this is great. But they are nothing. Exactly. 
this now what Abraham says we're talking about now. The, the story he got from his friend Ben was that he just got a, 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 just a corner of his mm-hmm. house and then just on one of the people who were this place mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. wide land. Mm-hmm. And then the house was there. Mm-hmm. I saw it. And then he came back to be <laughs> <laughs> like this office and family he was living or whatever, but unfortunately they discovered that the bone that he had in that room was the same blind girl you came up into those. This Andrew case, it's there are a lot of things still unfolding because we've not really gotten the mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. 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 So we're still looking forward to, and unfortunately, no police, we've not had any police reports, mm. we've not had, you know, it's just been the mm-hmm. other kind of this story. So we're still waiting for something. Yeah. So, can you say was in police custody? So, how was he not actually in the case? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't people trusting people so easily. People you meet on social media and boom, you trust them, boom, you probably even meet someone you don't even know. Just because you, so, you trust them when you talk to them on social media. I mean, I don't know how to choose a picture. Okay, so we'll as well as our topic. Stay with us, we'll be right back.
Hi, thank you for being there and welcome back. So today we are going into a topic that brings us joy, relaxation and knowledge. We are talking about um, reading. Reading. How many of you read? When was the last time you picked up a book to read? When was the last time you told you told a story about a book? Whether you are a bookworm or an occasional reader who wants to reignite your passion for reading, join us as we explore the joy of reading, promoting reading culture. Let us a journey that takes us to a whole new world, expands our mind, and connects us with others. But in today's fast paced digital age, are we living the art of reading? Are we looking out on the benefits that come with it? Let's find out. Join Advocate for reading. Dr. Udeme Nana is a remarkable figure in Nigerian literacy. He founded the Ogo Book Club and has expanded its reach with branches in so many other local governments in Aquarium State. Dr. Nana is an accomplished author, a journalist, an educator. He frequently writes and speaks about how essential literature and education are for personal growth and national development. His dedication to promoting literacy has made him a respected and influential voice in literary circles. Dr. Demi, you're welcome to the show today. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to have you around. Thank you very much. And this is a very, it's, uh, this topic is just close to my heart. Oh, it's more than the one to have someone who is an advocate for reading. Because you would agree with me, the digital world has taken over. So let's see many people Okay. So let's start this way now. Let's find out what actually sparked your love for reading and how has it impacted your life? Yeah, thank you very much. I was lucky to have uh, grown up in a home with parents who were educated. My mom was a teacher. My father started out as a teacher. And uh, you know that in the olden days, once you finished uh, your first level of education, you could move into teaching. Mm -hmm. So my father started out as a teacher uh, before he moved into what is now called the ministry as a oh, clergyman. Okay. So I grew up with books. Mm -hmm. My father did not spare anything to buy me books. Mm -hmm. And so even before I got into secondary school, I read a lot of books. I don't think there is any edition of Boys and the Boys. Before I finished secondary school, I had read books about the United States of America and other countries of the world. And so that background really helped me to read, to express me to books. So when I saw books, you know, in fact, one of the best things my father would do for me is he traveled and he would come back with a book. And I'd prefer that to bread. Oh my God! So many books that that have really influenced you. At that time, growing up, all the books you can not just pick or pick or pick or You want to just finish all the editions. There were five books. But growing up, one of the books that has transformed me, which I read as about the best book ever published is the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. In the Holy Bible, you have a combination of history, you have historical uh, figures, mm -hmm. you have lessons, okay. and when you know most of the books, there are lessons that you can learn, there are examples you can relate with. And that's so motivating, so inspiring, you know. So for me, the Bible remains the best, the best mm -hmm. book because in it you can find almost everything. 
Mm-hmm. What has been the, you know, acceptability? Do people enjoy doing this? You know, over the years that we've studied this, well, what have you seen? Are they dropping? Are they increasing? Are they losing, um, you know, interest in reading? Or the interest increasing? The interest is on the increase. Okay. I'll tell you what happened. When we started the Reddit Club, we were just three friends. Oh. But today, it's like, I, 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 can't, I can't say the actual number oh. of the membership. On our WhatsApp group, we have more than 350 people. Wow. And then we have the book club, the Netflix Ekeb book club. Okay. We have the Nicolet Banner, we call it the Rafia City book club. Okay. We have the Abang book club. We have uh, several others, yeah. even in schools. So this means that the culture is coming alive. Mm-hmm. Even though it is slow, but I hope that ultimately uh, we get a large number of people appreciate what is uh, beautiful and people will embrace. Mm. Because I tell people, mm. uh, our society. The Nigerian society is descending, descending to where the first is. Hmm. And if you don't drive in the back, by getting people to read and become knowledgeable, if you don't get the right people, even in positions of leadership, okay. to the people who are not to you know, hmm. then you will not even be able to solve problems. Because in books, you will find solutions to millions of problems. Mm. Books contain ideas on everything. In fact, even reading historical accounts yeah. of previous leaders, like a victim of the law, and the land, the arrangements, and even how others run the steps, mm-hmm. you pick up a lot of information. Mm. So if you lose those interests, then people just lose their jobs. Yeah. Even in public administration, I, I've had an example of what happened recently in this country. In the build up to the general elections, a very critical bill, the electoral bill, <laughs> was passed into law, mm-hmm. signed into law. Without the legislators reading. Mm. It was only after it was signed into law that they discovered, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that they were had excluded themselves mm-hmm. wow. from being delegates in an election, most of them were going to contest again. So, you know, it's just on the written by the late you know, Achebe, the trouble with Nigeria. He pinpointed that the major problem with Nigeria is that over time, Nigeria has been saddled with leaders who mm-hmm. don't have intellectual depth, intellectual rigor. Mm. People who don't read. Because you don't read, you won't have ideas. You won't have the historical experience. You will have policies based on a background. Yeah. You know, you just wake up mm. and you come out with you something. Come up with something. You know? So, reading helps a society to, to, to have a well informed opinion, programs, and policies. You know, reading ensures that people do the right things. You know? Mm. Reading. I, I, I mean, 
I can there are hundreds of hundreds, you know, apart from helping you personally, you know, it helps the society to become better. Because even the policies, the ideas that you throw up in the society would have been well thought out. You have read some books, you know. I think uh, something happened uh, when this state government and the previous one started out. After selecting the commissioners, ministers, uh, and so on, they were given copies of books. I mean, uh, this book uh, from first wall to first wall. Okay. Written by a, a, a great uh, leader of the. Uh, is it Malaysia or one of these countries? Okay. You know, they can live, you know. So, when people read, they draw examples, they draw inspiration mm -hmm. from what successful people have done, you know, and then they are expected to replicate uh, what they have read. But then, if you don't read, you won't have that. Uh, that, 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 that. Mm. Okay, so we know more about the problem of reading with Africans. Let me just say Africans <laughs> because this is the same thing. Yeah. So we've sort of read because where people don't read things and they don't jump in here. Yeah. 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 So yeah. how do we promote this culture? Yeah, it starts from the family. I have said it here that my parents uh, were the ones who motivated me to read them, caused me. Mm -hmm. They didn't find anyone uh, with me mm -hmm. uh, consuming books voraciously. Mm -hmm. You know, one of them caused me. Uh, and so, it should start from the home. It should start from the parents. Parents should be seen to be reading mm -hmm. because every leader must lead mm -hmm. by example. Mm -hmm. So, from the home front, Encourage the young ones to mm. read. Mm -hmm. Find out the things that can attract their mm. interest and mm. slowly let them become accustomed uh, to such little things. Mm. Even if they are pamphlets, you know, they start out of that and then magazines and then books and so on. Mm. Well, I, 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 I also have uh, a book like where you said that reading magazines, storybooks and all that. Yes. I have a son who likes to read a lot of storybooks, but funny boys have got to read his school books. my grades, as time goes on, reading school materials. It's just a matter of... But I think it's also, uh, aside from uh, reading um, storybooks, mm. I think you have um, books that um, tell other kind of stories, yeah. like history, yeah. yeah. the stories of the world, you know, a lot of other kind of scriptures, you know, and also activism. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 books must be uh, more about it. Yeah. 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 The interesting one. Yeah. So, okay. so, so parents uh, should encourage their children. They should have reading spaces. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people have bars. Why do they have bars? You know, so parents should encourage their children by giving them books, by at least creating spaces in their homes by encouraging them to sit even in the library to read even the Bible. Mm -hmm. And there are so many motivational yeah. and, and inspiring books. We encourage them to read. Mm -hmm. And over time, now that we have this book club initiative, I mean, parents should encourage their yeah, children to go out and join, mm -hmm. you know. And oh my God, I really appreciate what's happening in Economic Manor. Uh, the of meetings, you find students from different schools coming to sit and read. Mm. And at the end of the day, you ask them to summarize, to discuss. Mm. Oh my God, mm. it's, it's very, very interesting. And so, uh, you know, when I was growing up, our libraries were places to go. Mm -hmm. Even if you wanted to mm. uh, find a dance. <laughs> Our libraries 
are completely dilapidated. Oh, no, 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 People can buy books and donate to this library. Okay. The library is where you are along with that new book. No, I don't want to say that. The price is over a hundred with the money, you yeah. know? So, I don't attract anybody to go there, you know? So, that shows you the level of reading culture that is in the society. Mm -hmm. If the libraries are over a with all the things, it's gone. So, so it's people gone. should, I mean, even the government should look at this again. Because I still say that you're just talking about this manage of Facebook friendship. Mm -hmm. I mean, people can now say, well, if we can meet around the library, mm -hmm. we can make better friends, you know, people who are really know mm -hmm. than we do on social media, you know. Social media. Social media. You know? <laughs> Uh, creating 
everything stays in your homes. I mean, for people mm. to just know, oh, we go and wait for one hour, oh, just one hour. Mm. In fact, even in 30 minutes, mm. Mm. families can begin to say, today, we will wait for 30 minutes. Yeah. And as time goes on, when people oh, pick up the interest, so you're already a rush hour now. Yeah. You're yeah. working on the yeah. but that will be saying, and they will be saying, you don't want to work out with it. Just some people gather some morning prayers. Okay. And you say, look, after morning prayer, there is this book. We have to wait for okay. 30 minutes. And then, members of the family, children can take turns. You wait two, two, two chapters, mm -hmm. or even one time, one chapter. And then, the thing goes, so okay. Okay. Over time, people will become uh, familiar. Yeah, so that, and I'm, I'm, I'm coming with that difficult to, to, to understand this particular one now, or to agree with this particular solution in here. Because I know so many parents, when yeah. their kids were this small, they do bedtime stories. Mm -hmm. You know, that bedtime story is the time where families like, you know, mother come and read sometimes the mother, sometimes the father. Mm -hmm. So it's like a reading time. Mm -hmm. And so many children do not like to go to bed without those stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I have seen people work in this way, and they never were adults in school. But they've lost this, this went on well grown. But we have no institution, and nobody is talking about it anymore. <laughs> So it's a very long time to get a lot of 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 So what is some of the practical way, a sustainable way, you know, to inculcate this habit of moving into children? But the next, you know? Yeah, I have, I have alluded to this. When you, are so, when you are socializing people into a new way of life, mm -hmm. don't force it. And at the end of the day, don't imagine that you're going to get 100%. Okay. You know, in a family of five, I mean, people have different interests mm -hmm. and different motivations. You know, the books that I like may be my other ones, the mm -hmm. other okay. ones. You know, for instance, uh, I talked to my son the other day. I said, I was giving you this book, you know, I was giving you this one, you know, I did. And he said, Dad, I like science fiction stories, you know, oh, you know, yeah. so some build their own area of mm -hmm. interest and start from okay. there, you know, that's true. That's true. That's true. you just do it down, you know, the books you like, yeah. and imagine that they will pick it up, you know, mm. because uh, children now come with independent minds, mm. so we don't try to force, force Mm -hmm. If there's something they like, find out. It's like it's just like uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't produce books to just dump. Mm -hmm. And even in this uh, session, mm -hmm. I mean, you do a research to find out what your viewers would like, mm -hmm. and then you try mm -hmm. to uh, pro, uh, oh, so your I think the, the your the in your club thing, in your book club thing, and you, the idea of you taking it to all the local governments. Yes, yes. So what effort have you made to like bring schools into this? Do you reach out to schools? Of course, that's what I said. You need to go whenever they the gather, you find schools. Even the schools sponsor their students to okay, so yeah. yeah. attend. Yes, to attend. So can we go to schools to tell them about the class? Yes, of course, and we also encourage them to set up book clubs in their schools, you know? Mm. So it's working. It's really working. I want you to come to my school. Okay. We like we like <laughs>
give so that latitude to have the advantage of new ways. So mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and you can when you have this advantage, you can even invent new ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I what you know. Mm-hmm. Sitting here, I read a book titled "The Edge of Vigils." Vigils. Yeah, I don't know who won that. I said, I don't know who won that. I said, I don't know who People who dress in short dresses and bad bodies mm-hmm. because of the way that they are bad. So they're coming down here because our people are exposed to these things watching. Society has lots, it's death, 
even our leaders have lost the level of concentration, mm. the attention span, they have now had to not be bold. Mm. You know, mm. people should be able to sit back and pour over minds mm. before they make policy, before they come up with programs, mm. before they do anything. anything. Let them look back to mm. history. Let them look back to the basics. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, we will keep on making mistakes. You know, you keep on making mistakes. You know, what is happening now in the country? Devaluation. People mm. should know what happened when devaluation took place in, past, in the past. I mean, what happened? There was a solution. There was a solution. You know, so you just don't work up to say, I'm going to do this. Who is actually interested in that now? In that now. Who is interested in that now? Who is interested in that now? How the government understand what we are actually talking about and how they can be beneficial to the people. I like this, and you know, when I read a book, I don't read it for the sake of reading. I'm looking for ideas. I'm looking for solutions mm-hmm. to problems. Mm-hmm. And so when I watch a program, I should be able to also learn learn something from the kind of ideas mm-hmm. and pick. A solution mm. to right. a problem. All right, we have to run along, but maybe before you give an advice to someone who's trying to develop that reading culture, what can you say to the person? Just in two seconds. You yeah, start your day, you know, uh, there's something called atomic habits. You start it in small steps, you know. Mm. So then I'm going to wait for 10 minutes and wait more, I'm going to wait for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and as you go on, you become accustomed to it. It's just like running, exercising. You cannot just start one day and try to run for five mm-hmm. hours, you know? So you have to start from somewhere. Start from somewhere. And before you know it, you become a culture to it. And mm-hmm. you become the habit. But can you actually let us know what cause poor what causes poor reading habits? You know, that's something. People who don't seem to see the immediate benefits of it. But the benefits are there. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm really interested. But the people now uh, have the mentality of quick fixes, mm. you know? Mm. So that's it. That's all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Moore. Mm. 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 Thank you. Have to go. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. 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 Thank you.